Good morning. Was this irresponsible of me? I have no idea. Hairspray. So much to do. Sheer suit? Sheer suit? Who's sheer suit? Shave off the end of my eyebrow. Okay. Fashion week starts tomorrow and it really came out of nowhere, I think because I've just been so preoccupied with other things and like I knew it was coming up, but like it's like, I'm not ready for it. So we have a lot of prep work to do that I probably would have done over the course of a few days, but we're, we have to jam it all in. First things first, need to hydrate because it's gonna be a long ass week, but this is pretty much how I prep for like any kind of event. We might do a few extra little things, but first, this is something I don't normally do. I'm gonna try a makeup look. This is kind of what I'm going for because obviously if I like hate the way this looks, it's gonna be impossible to get off without ruining the rest of my makeup. So before I take my makeup off, I'm gonna try this. A lot of times in photographs, like whenever I do new makeup, like it's not like suited for my eye shape. Like, I don't know. I don't know like what eye shape I have really. Also my eyes are like, two completely different shapes. So. But I think the reason I'm so unprepared and like it snuck up on me is because obviously I've had a lot going on with moving, but I think it's because I didn't have to plan a trip and like find a place to stay here since I live here now. Like last fashion week, I came like a week before and like I was in fashion week mode like seven days before. But for the past three days, I like I haven't even been thinking about like fashion week because I've just been doing other stuff until I was sitting on Sophia's couch and Sophia was like reading her schedule for Wednesday, which is like when everything kind of starts. And I was like, Wednesday? Like, what do you mean Wednesday? This was yesterday, Monday. She was like, yeah, it starts on Wednesday. And I was like, whoa. I mean, I don't hate that. Obviously it wouldn't be this messy, but like, another thing I was thinking is, should I shave off the end of my eyebrow? <laughs> Someone on my free page say, I don't know. Like, obviously it's been a trend for a while, but now I'm thinking like, maybe I should do it. We're gonna see what my eyebrows look like if I conceal them. Like, does that look better? Like, I don't know. Well, maybe. I do like that it's like lifting my face. Okay, well, I guess I'm just gonna like tweeze the end of my eyebrows. I also have been like slacking on like pretty much all social media platforms recently because I've been so focused on all my fashion week looks and so anytime I buy something cute or like cool shit I'm like I don't let myself wear it because I'm like I'm gonna want to wear it during fashion week I have stuff that like like I started planning my outfits in November like there was something I had bought to wear to some, like I don't know but I was like just save it for fashion week because this is sick I'll actually just like show you right now. It's this blazer with like all these little, like I literally bought this so long ago and I've been dying to wear it, but I'm saving it. So I'm very excited about this. Okay, so I just need to tan and plan like pretty much all my outfits because my problem is I buy like really sick pieces that like I'm excited to wear. I don't have like the whole outfit vision. I have a vision for the outfit, but like I just don't have anything planned right now and actually try it on because that's another problem that I have. I buy stuff and then I literally don't try it on until like the day that I want to wear it. And then like, obviously I have the vision in my head of like, ooh, I want to wear this with like a white button down. And then I put it on and I literally look like Psychowitz from Victorious. Also, it's currently 11.30 and we have so much to do. Okay, I'm gonna gouache on my face before I shower. This is something I only do for like, if I'm feeling actually like special events, like who, like I don't, I, if I'm gonna remember anything, it's not gonna be to gouache on my face ever. I also don't have like a routine or anything. I just kind of do whatever feels right. I also can never gouache out because I always have fake tan on. And so I can only do it whenever I know I'm gonna be exfoliating and then retanning. Cause like it like scrapes the tan off. And I'm gonna shower and I'm gonna use these, my favorites. This is the only thing that will get my fake tan off. So I'm gonna use these little scrubbies. I will link them, they're amazing. I was done, I washed my hair, so that means I have to dry it, which kinda sucks, but I'm gonna do my skincare before I tan because I don't have to tan my face or my neck because I tan my face and my neck a lot more often than when I do my whole body because I'm like half the time I'm just wearing turtlenecks and jeans. I tanned my face the other day, but I'm gonna use this serum from Lancome. I guess we should be proactive and do the neck too. I've been using this belief moisturizer and I don't even I, I don't even know why I bought it, but it's I think it's amazing, especially under makeup, which is what I've been using, but I'm gonna since my skin is like so dry right now and I know I'm gonna be like drinking and stuff this week. I'm gonna use the Kiehl's face, face, face cream. I was thinking about doing a face mask, but I mean, I'm all about doing the bare minimum. So I just wash my face with Panoxyl and that usually does the job. And then before I tan, when I like actually care, 
I like to put a little bit of lotion on just like the dry areas. I do not usually do this. I got a lot of shit to do, so. And then I'll just let it sit for like 10 minutes because if you put it on, if you put the tan on right after, it like creates a barrier and like gets just really patchy. So I'll probably like dry my hair while this like seeps in. Okay, this is the blowout spray that I use. I use Kerastase. Link Roy. I literally don't know. I'll link it if you want to try it. I think it's pretty similar to the Kenra blow dry spray, which I ran out of. This one though reactivates when you put heat on it. Um, I mean, like I haven't noticed a tremendous difference, but I like that it says that. Welcome to the party. I'd be wondering, Hannah. What is in all of these boxes? <laughs> um, these these are my fashion week outfits. These are either selects that I picked for specific shows or things that I ordered. Um, and I've been basically living at Sophia's for the past five days. So I haven't been able to open or try anything on. Was this irresponsible of me? I have no idea. You know what? Now we're here. This is what I'm supposed to wear to the Legends preview. Again, hopefully it fits. And I also hope that everything I ordered came in time. This is actually really pretty. What is this? Oh. Wait, this is just a black maxi skirt that I was gonna wear like maybe I buy something like smaller to go to with like a black long sleeve and like a gold belt and boots. I got this belt from Anthropology to wear like I got like a really sheer dress and I want to wear this over like as a little waist thing. Oh, damn, this came fast. I'm so excited for this if this is what I think it is. It's from Stolen Store. It's like a sheer maxi skirt because like, I saw this girl wearing the YSL maxi skirt and it's like four thousand dollars they have a very very similar one on stolen stores and oh my god oh my god it's perfect i don't think you guys understand i was looking whoa i was looking everywhere for like a fishtail shaped sheer maxi skirt and they legitimately do not exist except for this one oh. i remember like agreeing to this but yeah it's a tool suit you know how sheer is very trendy right now sheer dresses sheer whatever sheer suit sheer suit who's sheer suit i got this it's a blazer you can't really tell because it's like yeah blazer and then a sheer pair of trousers oh this is um well gaia tomorrow is like opening their store in soho so they offered to like dress me for the opening so this i picked out a few things so, but i don't know what they s ended up sending Sick. Oh my god, sick. I'm, I've am i actually been wanting this dress since I first saw it. I, you've probably seen it before, like a lot of people have worn it, but I haven't worn it. It's the one with the feathers at the bottom. Like, this is stunning. I'm so excited about this. And I got to go to the Retrofet showroom to pull some pieces from them, and holy sh- First of all, are you serious right now? Are these are- these are my pants. Like these- like they- like these are made for me. Although I have not thought about a top situation for these pants, which now is kind of making me nervous, but whatever. And then this dress. Another feather situation, but look how cute this is. Also, the feathers are removable on this, which is kind of wild. Like look how high the slit goes. Like it would go right here and the slit would be right here. Like it's gonna be good. It's gonna be real good. And like it's all the way to the floor, has feathers. Giving me like Hailey Bieber Met Gala vibes. Yeah, I'm definitely not gonna wear all of this. I just wanted to make sure that like I had as many options as possible. I had to take a break from all the excitement, but I actually decided I'm gonna self tan in the morning so that I can actually focus on making it look good. So now it's a little testy. Sometimes it doesn't look the best. Tomorrow I just have a dinner and the cold guy opening and Sax is having a party. So I'll probably end up wearing, I might wear the retrofit pants. To dinner and then change into the cool guy dress we're doing pretty good on time it's only two in the morning like that's not that's not terrible and i could try on the pants and like you know pick out an outfit right now so that i'm not stressed tomorrow but that's i mean that would be me just lying to you i mean this is me 24 hours before any event i've ever been to in my life i sit here and i'm like maybe i should try that on and pick out an outfit it's not gonna happen anyways we shall continue the prep in the morning good morning um yeah, this is definitely worse. Um, I definitely should have. Oh my god. Okay, I didn't see straight. I definitely should have done this yesterday because I have a fitting to go to this morning, but I have to do this now so it develops by tonight. Oh my god. 
It was like exactly like when I was in high school and I would be like, oh, I'll just, I'll just do my homework in the morning. I'll just wake up early and do my homework in the morning. Like, no, you're not. No, you're not. Do I learn from my mistakes? Never. But this has been my favorite self tanner recently because it doesn't smell and it doesn't streak and it doesn't turn me orange. All right, tan is washed off. I'm doing my makeup. I'm trying to do like something cool with my eyes and it's not working. It just looks the same as it always does, but that's okay. We know it works. I forgot I wanted to try uh, putting a roller in my hair. A roller, like literally just one, because I got a blowout the other day and I really liked the way my front pieces looked whenever she like round brushed it. So let's see if we can make something happen. Like literally just these tiny little pieces. I don't even think I need to pin it. I think it'll just stay there. Okay, so hopefully that works. The rest of my hair, I don't know what to do with my hair. I actually, I'll probably just curl it, but I mean, hey, we know it works. Oh, I started doing a new mascara routine. I've been using these two, the Dior Primer and the Dior Show Mascara since last year when I did a campaign for them. I love them. But I ran out of this the other day and I didn't have time to go get another tube. And so I used the primer with the Rare Beauty and it's so fucking good. Okay, primer's on. Like... This is definitely my good lash side, but even my bad lash side looks good. I'll do like one more small coat of Rare Beauty. And I don't care who you are. If you don't finish your lashes with at least one coat of telescopic, I don't know what you're doing. I always finish with at least like one coat of this. Um, and one time I was at an event and I was talking to this makeup artist and he, first of all, was so nice. And he was like, your lashes look incredible. Uh, what do you use? And I was like, I use the Dior. And then I finished with telescopic and he was like, I never, leave a client without putting at least one coat of this on them. Um, and like, if I don't have time for all of the before steps, I will just use this. The only thing I don't like about using it alone is that it doesn't really give you much volume. It's really like only a lengthening thing. Like, just look, just look at that. Granted, I do have naturally very long lashes, but I mean, but this is my favorite combo at the moment. Look at that. Okay, also look at the difference in, like these look so good. These look, just like so shitty compared to these. Maybe you can't tell the difference, but like I can so tell. So the roller did not work. Um, I'm gonna have to do another practice run with that, but we're just recurling. Few pieces of my hair, hairspray. Made myself some oatmeal to eat because I've learned the hard way that if there is food at these events, if it's usually like a piece of raw fish, on a cracker or something like that. Like, so, like, first of all, I don't eat fish. Second of all, it's never, it's never enough. I never leave feeling full. So even if I did eat fish, it wouldn't be enough. Okay, well, I got ready too early and now I'm running late. I know that doesn't make any sense, but that's where we're at right now. I have to go film and get ready with me for TikTok, so. But I love you guys and I told you every other Monday. I told you. Um, I will see you in the next one.